Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Mac. I'm Sarah. And we are staying in Devon in this amazing converted shipping container. Yes, we are going to give you a full tour in just a minute. Um, but while we're here, we are doing a complete digital detox. How will we get on? Let's Stay find tuned. Out. <laughs> Our super cool shipping container. Uh, this is the Huxham Nook and this shipping container is in a village called Poltermore just outside of Exeter in Devon and there are actually two shipping containers here there's this one and then there's one a couple of hundred yards um, a little bit further on the, along the lane and they both share this beautiful 10 acre meadow um, and it's got this gorgeous outside deck area with a patio and some patio furniture and a little barbecue stand um, and things like that but come on inside because it's small but beautifully formed. So come straight into the lounge um, and it is small but it does have all the mob cons so there's a TV with Netflix, YouTube and Amazon Prime um, and it opens out into this lounge area with a sofa. The sofa isn't terrifically comfy but we get by. Um, excuse the mess, we've dumped Dozer's bed here uh, which is absolutely huge, his bed is massive um, so it does take up quite a big bit of space but it's lovely and isn't it beautifully appointed they've got all these lovely knickknacks on the shelf which makes it feel so homey and cozy um, and then we've got this lovely uh, kitchen dining area so perfect for a couple of people to sit and eat breakfast up at the bar which is exactly what we did this morning and then everything you could possibly need in the kitchen small little hob an espresso machine and check out all these Nespresso pods. There's even green tea and chamomile tea in here, which is super. Uh, microwave, and then it's just so clever. They've got all these like clever little nooks and crannies everywhere with everything you could possibly need. So there's like a little cleaning nook in here with an iron, ironing board, hoover, mop and bucket, and then all of your bins and your recycling bits. And then bathroom just in here. And me. <laughs> and the power shower is excellent. So, where do you sleep, you might ask? So, come along, follow me. Just up these little stairs is a raised platform with a bed. So, it's really comfy and has the benefit of this amazing view. So when you're lying in bed and you wake up in the morning, you open the curtains and you just gaze out to the most beautiful fields um, and the meadow that the shipping container is situated in. And I'm gonna crawl across the bed. I'm trying not to get my shoes on the covers. There's all this hidden storage here as well. Um, so plenty of room for all your bits and bobs and all your cases. So that's the tour. So we're paying about £100 a night for this um, place. We're here for three nights, um, but 
at the time of recording this, there is still some availability later on in the year. Um, so we're going to link it below um, and do go and check it out. As Sarah said, there are two containers here. Um, you don't see each other. Um, they're quite a distance apart and visually you can't see where it is. So it's a perfect place to get away, isn't I it? I think so. And also if you had um, like maybe two families that wanted to come away together and you could get both containers, that would be, that good. Would be such fun. That would be great. Yeah, that yeah. would be really, really Actually, good. a really good location as well. We're, we're going to go on a driving tour of Dartmoor in a minute, so check another vlog for that. But um, that's only half an hour away. Um, so uh, you got Dartmoor half an hour away, um, Exeter, or well, like... 10 minutes away mm -hmm. um, really good location to explore South Devon so check the link below have a look um, and if you're new to Airbnb we've got a little um, link as well you can follow that um, and you might get 50 quid off your next day um, and we'd get a little bit off our next day too um, but this is it we hope you like it This weekend we are on a digital detox and uh, you may be wondering what a digital detox is. Well, over the past year, 18 months, we have literally been glued to our phones, either uh, checking for news, for updates on you know, the coronavirus and things like that. And we just thought, actually, it'd be really nice to have a weekend where we just switch off, we don't look at our phones and we don't use any kind of digital devices except for our camera um, for the whole weekend. So here are the rules. I'll just look it up on Google Maps. I don't think so. Here, have an old fashioned map. Oh man! Mm -mm. Hey! Hmm, I think I'll watch the Netflix. Uh uh. What? I wonder what there is to do in the area. I'll Google it. Thank you. Hey! Try this old fashioned guidebook instead. Oh. Well, I guess I don't need this, so I guess I'll put it in the oven. Now, no mobile phones, no social media, no checking the internet, nothing like that. And no sat-nav. No sat-nav, uh, which means that we're going to need to use maps to find our way around uh, the places that we're visiting in Devon. No TV. Yep, so no TV. Um, there's no radio in here either, only a Bluetooth speaker, uh, so we can't use that either. So we'll just have to have the bird song and our own angelic voices to and uh, conversation. keep conversation. Conversation, yeah. Um, but we do have a whole stack of board games, and so we'll show you through all of the board games that we've brought with us and the board games that they've got here as well. Right, we are off on our little driving tour of Dartmoor, um, and of course, no sat nav, old fashioned maps. I've drawn out a route um, in advance, so let's see how we get on. Will we get lost? We are staying here in a village called Poltimore, just north of Exeter, so we're going to have to get on the M5 and go round Exeter on the M5 and pick up the A38 to this point here, Caton. I've drawn over it with a pen, uh, but that's where we're headed for, and this is the little route around Dartmoor that we have chosen. So, no sat-nav. Sarah's extraordinary map reading skills are required. Let's do this. Okay, Mac actually isn't joking when he says I have excellent map reading skills. I have previously navigated us uh, 2,200 miles across America on Route 66 using only maps. So I feel like this little uh, couple of hour drive should be just fine. I was obviously far too smug from the outset because we literally left the Airbnb a couple of minutes ago. There are no signs and the map that we have isn't detailed enough to show all of the little uh, village roads. So yeah, five minutes in, we're lost. Great start. We've seen some signs for Plymouth, which should lead us in the right direction. We are currently stuck in traffic, which obviously, if we'd have been using sat-nav, we probably would have been able to avoid. I think we're on one of these very narrow, wiggly white roads because very, very narrow. Come on, sheepies, be careful. Oh. 
success. We have navigated ourselves to Dartmoor National Park uh, without the use of a sat nav and just using maps. So we're gonna hop out, and give Dozer a quick walk, but the weather is absolutely foul. <laughs> So we have a flat tyre, we're just trying to put a little bit of air in it so we can get to somewhere where they can repair it. And unfortunately this car doesn't have a spare tyre, um, only like a tyre repair kit, which is in the boot underneath the dog's crate and all the other stuff. So we'll see if we can get some air in, it's going very slowly. And of course it's raining, so that's good. <laughs> Not the best day. <laughs> okay, this is what happens when you don't follow sat nav and you go down the country lanes, you get a flat tyre. Okay, emergency tyre repair. Uh oh. So we failed the digital detox. I've had to turn my phone back on to look for um, a tire place, but there is no reception. Well, that is the digital detox well and truly broken. Um, I managed to find a tire place on the internet, gave them a call, um, and now I'm using, well, I'm using my phone and Mac is driving to try and get to this place before five o'clock when they close and they won't be able to help us. So fingers crossed, the guy see, said on the phone that they had the tires that we need, but that traffic was really bad and he didn't think we would make it there by five o'clock. So let's see. Okay, big sigh of relief. We made it. We made it. Can highly recommend National Tyres and Auto Care in Exeter. <laughs> Thank yeah. you guys, you were terrific. Very nice chaps. Um, Very nice. We're 130 pound lighter, but um, we are mobile <laughs> and uh, we don't have to spend the night in a lay-by, so that's good. Yep, um, all good. And now we are heading back to our Airbnb, um, change out of our wet clothes, console ourselves with our misfortune and breaking our digital detox yeah but Can't i think it's helped. a good cause right yeah yeah absolutely i think in the case of an emergency it's absolutely fine um we are using sat nav to get back now because i mean you know yeah it's broken we may as well just go whole hog um, but then we'll get back on it We always find it nice when we go away to try and find some local produce. Um, and we've got some delicious sounding Devon Red um, Supreme Cider, uh, which we bought yesterday. Um, so we're gonna give that a go. Cheers. Cheers. So we just got back in from our short tour of Dartmoor. We've in lit, the rain. In the rain. We've lit a fire in the wood burner. We've got ourselves a cider. Um, how did uh, the first outing of Digital Detox go? Well, it was not great. <laughs> <laughs> well, the weather wasn't great. The weather wasn't great. No. Yeah. Actually, it was quite eventful, wasn't it? So, the weather wasn't great. It rained on us. Um, Which we didn't know because we weren't able to check the weather forecast. No. Um, we cut the driving tour short just because we were soaked and Dozer wasn't having a great time either. Um, and that made it a little bit yeah. difficult to explore. Yeah. But we managed to have a nice lunch. We got a takeaway lunch, some soup, um, which was absolutely oh, gorgeous. Oh, that was delicious. That, yeah. uh, it was lentil dal. Coconut and lentil oh, dal. It was really so tasty. Good. Really delicious. Really, really good. Um, and on the way back, we got a puncture. 
So we had to um, hunt out uh, a tyre repair shop um, and get there before it closed. Which obviously meant breaking the digital detox because I had to use my phone to get on the internet to look up tyre places yeah. um, and then you sat now to find them. But I mean... That's how allowed you, though, right? How would you how would you do that without yeah. without using a digital device? I feel device if we were days? not using a, a phone to, to do that, um, we'd still be on the side of a road somewhere, which would not have been any fun at mm, all. No. And um, especially not fair on Dozer stuck yeah. in the car either. Yeah. So, um, But we are going to relax for the evening now. We've got some board games. Yeah, we have. And we are going to have, probably going to have some cheese and biscuits. That sounds very nice. I think. That sounds very yeah. nice. I, I, I do think it has been quite nice not having a phone to be distracted mm. by. I think yeah. it's been quite nice to, um, you know, because quite often if we're in the, you know, if we're doing something, I'll look at my phone, you know, either while I'm eating breakfast or, you know, even while we're watching TV, I'll watch mm. TV and look at my phone at the same time. Yep. I think it's been really nice to actually just have, you, you know, Remove yeah. that temptation. Yeah, exactly, to remove yeah. the temptation. I, so. I agree. Yeah, yeah, it's been quite nice, actually. Yeah, and I haven't really missed it. I'll be honest, no. I haven't missed it. So, um, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. So, here goes an old-fashioned evening. <laughs> Board games, food and cider. Sounds great. We brought several board games with us, and there are board games here as well, but we decided to start playing one of ours. It's really difficult to get started. Um, it's called Ticket to Ride New York. How retro does that look? Look at these super cool uh, instruction pamphlets and these uh, like little game pieces. They're so retro, cool. And you have to kind of make routes between the two places by pulling destination cards and and all that kind of stuff, and we're not quite sure what we're doing. So we're about 15 minutes in. Have we got the hang of it yet? I think so. Yep, I think we've got the hang of it. We're claiming routes, we're putting taxis down and... All that good stuff. All that jazz. Okay, we think the game is over. So now we count up the scores and figure out who's won. Final scores. Mac 15, Sarah 27. Next up on our board game-a-thon is Pandemic. So this is either the most superbly appropriate board game to play in the middle of a pandemic or the most inappropriate board game to play in the middle of a pandemic. Let us know what you think about that. But if you haven't played this game before, it is so good. Highly recommend it. It's a collaborative team game, so you don't play against the person you're playing with. You play in a team and the idea is basically to save the world before uh, an epidemic turns into a pandemic that then kills everyone on the planet. So the setup of this game is actually quite complicated, but um, once you get going, it's really addictive. Exciting. It's really good game. Like uh, it, it describing how to play it makes it sound really complicated and it is, but it's such good fun. It is, once you get going, it's really good. Right, so now we've got three in London. I think we're in trouble. Should we call it quits and go to bed? Yeah, okay, I think so. Excuse the just woke up, fallen out of bed look, but um, that's exactly what we've done. Um, and we normally um, do workouts most days. Yeah, pretty much most yeah, days. Well, yeah. at least five days out of seven anyway. And we always follow um, uh, one of two um, people on YouTube, either Fitness Blender or Joe Wicks. And we like both of their workouts. Um, but because we're on our digital detox, 
We can't watch a YouTube video. We can't. So we've gone old school and we've written out a workout. So um, actually we did one yesterday as well. Um, and it works okay, so we're going to do another one. But today we're going to do it outside. Because it's finally stopped raining. It's finally stopped <laughs> raining. Um, it's not too cold. Um, and um, let's get doing this, eh? Let's get, let's get it done. Let's get it done. about not being able to check the weather app this morning before we head out we have got glorious sunshine and it has finally stopped raining for the first time we have been here so we're super excited to get out and do a little bit of exploring in some good weather We're exploring out and about at the moment um, and if you want to see exactly where we are and what we're getting up to check our Exeter vlog which will be coming soon um, but while we're out it's occurred to me that part of this digital detox means that we aren't taking as many photographs while we're out I think it's because it's so easy just to whip your phone out and take a really great beautiful picture really quickly um, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because it means that probably we're more present in the moment because we're not thinking this would make a great photo but it also means that we're not capturing all of those memories, which I think is also a bit of a shame. So a bit of a dilemma, I don't know. It's a little bit later, we're sat down, well I'm sat down actually, we've got all of our picnic food here ready, just about to tuck into a delicious little picnic. Mac has run back to the car um, to collect the cutlery that we forgot but it's so tempting to get out my phone and you know have a look at Instagram or scroll through the internet or something. I guess I'm just not that great at sitting and doing nothing, like I wanna be busy. Um, I guess if I'd have bought my book, I could have read a book. So there you go, that's a lesson learned. I should have bought my book with me. Okay, the rain has stopped for a little bit. So if it lasts. So we've got some hot chocolate, some outdoor seating, and a beautiful view. We are about to play our favorite travel game, Banana Grounds. Really dead easy, super addictive. Everybody gets, or each player, it's a two player game. So each player gets 12 of these. And there are cards. So I'll show you the cards. And what you do, once each player has 12 of these, you turn over a card. And you have to make words using all of your dice um, along that theme. So if these were my 12, I'd need to make uh, some sci fi words um, using my 12 dice and using them all up um, on a sci-fi topic it is super addictive and um, a brilliant travel game because it's tiny as well so you can take it anywhere. Foreign language, oh no this is my worst one. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. You never think of any words. Next up is a game left here by our host, Kaplunk. Um, all I know is it looks fun and it's a classic game. I have no idea how to play it. I used to play this all the time as a kid. I have such nostalgia about this. Let's see if it's as fun as I remember. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. 
You load in all the marbles? Yep, you load in the marbles. So what's the idea? So the idea is that you pull out a stick, and then if a marble falls out, you put it in your tray. Right. And then at the end of the game, the winner is the one with the least amount of marbles. And if you have the golden marble, mm -hmm. you subtract five from your total. <laughs> I think all of them now are going to mm -hmm. result in some sort of catastrophic failure. Apart from that oh, one. Well done. One's going to go. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Is there a way to get in a hammock gracefully? Well, we've had a nice afternoon, playing some games, done a bit of reading and relaxing, nice cup of tea. And actually, now the, the rain has stopped, we've um, actually managed to sit out on the deck Yeah, as well. and it's been lovely. It's been really nice, actually. Yeah, it's been very relaxing and it's really quiet here. All you can hear is birds singing. I think um, it makes you appreciate it more when you're not constantly thinking, I'll look at my phone, mm. I'll check, you know, what's happening on Instagram or, you know, watch a yeah. YouTube video or something. That's so. absolutely right, yeah. yeah. And and actually the digital detox today has been okay. Mm. Um, the only thing we did um, figure out was that we take fewer photographs, didn't we? Yeah, we did, definitely. Um, so we definitely take fewer photographs when we haven't got our phones on um, because they're easy, aren't they? You just take it out, snap a quick shot, they're brilliant. You can't really get it wrong because the camera um, mm -hmm. does it all for you. Um, but other than that, the detox has been okay today, yeah, hasn't it? it's been not too not bad. Not missed it. Um, it's amazing how quickly you uh, forget the need of like TV and music and stuff like that. Um, that's been really nice. Um, but now we're just going to... Cook a bit of dinner. Cook a bit of dinner, maybe have a shower and then get into some comfies mm -hmm. and um, just relax for the rest of the evening. Um, we've had a great day. Yeah, we've had a really, really lovely day. Yeah, it's been nice. Yeah. But we'll catch you tomorrow. Yep. Good morning. Good morning. We have enjoyed a yummy breakfast this morning of uh, pancakes, scrambled eggs, fake bacon and maple syrup. Um, oh, but we packed up the car, we're ready to head off. So that's it for our 48 hour digital detox. We are ready to turn our phones back on and rejoin the digital world. Um, but I have to say, I really enjoyed being uh, kind of- Unplugged. Unplugged for the Disconnected. weekend. Disconnected. It's been really lovely. And I think mm. the biggest thing that I've learned is around, uh, whereas before I used to read all the time and, um, you know, pick up a book at every opportunity. I think slowly over time, those opportunities where I would have picked up a book, I've replaced that book with my phone. But I think I'm gonna try and get back to picking up books more often. I think that's the one thing I'm gonna take away from this yeah. digital detox. I agree, and actually for, for me this morning, um, sitting, eating breakfast, looking out at the view, I think before, if, I, if we weren't making an effort to do a digital detox, I would have probably had my phone and like Sarah would have been scrolling through Instagram or something like that. Um, but it was nice just to sit there and, and look at the view, um, listen to the bird song. And actually, I, I think there's a little space for a digital detox in every week. Um, so I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, me too. Me yeah. too. Highly recommend having a go. Definitely. Yeah. We've really enjoyed staying in this um, shipping container as yeah. well. Um, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the tour. It's really homely. Yeah, I, and compared to some of the places which we've stayed at recently that have had outdoor bathrooms, having an indoor uh, oh, yeah. bathroom has felt like a real luxury. A real luxury, <laughs> yeah. We've really enjoyed staying here, actually. It is proper cosy, really, actually it's really warm. Mm. Um, you know, the, it's still spring, so the weather isn't perfect, the rain is on and off, um, but it's been really nice staying in here, isn't it? Yeah, and, um, you know, if you fancied um, hiding away somewhere, um, this is called the nook, you know, hiding away somewhere yep. in, in a little nook, 
um, switching off, reading and just chilling out, this is an ideal place to do it. Yeah, absolutely. The only thing we found with this place is the sofa could be a little bit more comfy. Yeah. That's our, that's the only downside, but otherwise we've absolutely loved it. But if the weather's nice, there's a lovely outdoor oh, seating the area. The outdoor deck is gorgeous. Yeah, it yeah is. it's just gorgeous. Yeah. But we've had a great time. We hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have, give us a thumbs up. Um, hit the subscribe button if you're not already and um, don't forget that notification bell. We've got so many more trips booked this year and we'd love to share them all with you. We absolutely would. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.